what did I call this video? You think? Just... It should be all. Hey, this is this is Dan Glebe, and you're watching the Abandoned Railroad series. You should just make a make a complete parody of this is Dan Bell. This is Dan Bell. I'm not Dan Bell, but I really like Dan Bell. But uh, this is Dan Glebe. And this is the Abandoned Railroad series. That's what we're going to call this. The Abandoned Railroad series. So one video long series. One video. You only get one. Uh, unless we go on another hike where there's another abandoned railroad. We should uh, make sure that like in every segment we talk about how you should like and subscribe and comment to the, uh, to the YouTube channel. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's about, you know, 15 people subscribe to me, which is, I just, I couldn't have done this without you guys. Oh, man. We should make the, uh, we'll make a special 20 subscriber video. <laughs> the 20th subscriber gets to, um, have a live Skype session with Dan Breed. This is where all the hikers are late to rest. They trespass. Like we are. Blasting area. Okay. We're gonna get blasted. Hurry up. The train's gonna leave without you. Alright. This is the abandoned train. It's seen better days. Oh, we went the wrong way. Yeah. That well, was a fun little detour. It's interesting how the cars um, are misaligned in a couple of places. Yeah. Derailed yeah. there too.
this truss all seen better day as well. Some scary gaps here. Yep. Pick the good beams to walk on. I would not walk on that. That looks like a booby trap. <laughs> Jump on it. Well, there's wood under it, but I still wouldn't walk on that. Yeah. We're coming up on our first tunnel. I think this is a really short one. We should be able to see right through it. Yeah. I suppose we should be keeping a lookout for goats too. This is called Goat Canyon. There are actually goats. They're hard to spot. They're very um, they really camouflage. Well, yeah. Really that camouflage. Gee, it's it's taller than I thought it would be. I don't know why I'm surprised though. Don't show me what. The wall is collapsing. Also, the roof. <laughs> it's pretty worked out. Yeah. Something that's going to collapse. Why they concreted it with this too. They were trying to say this. It's concrete. See where the wood's splintering up there? Oh, yeah, up there. Right there. Doesn't make any sense. Here's our first proper trestle with railings. This one's OSHA compliant. Except for that giant gaping hole right there. Let's go walk on a big hole. Actually, I'm a little scared to walk over here. This this yeah. looks pretty janky. Someone just put a sheet of plywood right over it. <laughs> that that looks real janky. Yeah. Yeah. Probably stay on the tracks. Hello, how you doing, Dan? Your grading's on this one. Found a bike pedal. Bike pedal, anyone? Somebody's gonna have a hard time getting home. Wonder when this. Modernization with came along. It's a little more scary to walk on, but yeah, at the same time this more is, reassuring. This is, this is almost like those clear walkways over the Grand Canyon. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like it. I guess if you don't look down. Except for where okay. there's these these cuts and there's like seams. I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. I could hold on to the handrail. Of course, I'd probably be falling by the time. I decided to clamp down on the handrail. Yeah. You kind of want to look down to make sure you're putting your feet in a safe spot, but then <laughs> then you see yeah. the distance. You can do it. <laughs> I got this rhythm. Beam, post, beam, post. A little freaky, but... On my comfort zone. Yeah, this is definitely a hike for those with a death wish, you know. You got you got the falling rock, you got the collapsing grates, you got the <laughs> The decrepit trestles. <laughs> you got the collapsing tunnels. <laughs> this, 
derailed train cars. Yep. Survived another trestle. That's probably the fourth or fifth one. Until we get to the big one. Let's yeah. see. Let's go catch a train. It's locked. You can't change it. Beak lock off. If you tap it just right, probably not this model. There's one that you can tap just right on the side and it just clicks right open. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Tickets, please. Tickets. I need to see your tickets. No ticky, no laundry, right? <laughs> Noticing everything's in French. Control stuff. Copper thieves. Oh, is this the end of the line? Every last passenger on board, baby. Comfort is a priority. Some target practice. Don't open rats inside. Ooh, I like rats. I don't see any rats. I don't see the rats either. <laughs> it's all in French. Maybe they meant rat's nest. Maybe that was all this. There's no... Uh... Press to talk. There you go. Uh, oh, can't talk. <laughs> you can hear them. Put up. Uh, a 
wheel lock on this thing. Yeah. Is it booted? Yep. Yeah. Is it booted for parking in a Park non no train parking yeah. area? There you go, Steve. You can see the brakes. <laughs> oh yeah. It's not rolling anywhere. Train car. Oh, I wonder how that one could derail. How long ago it derailed? He came up on some rubble. Another tunnel. Yes. He's flinging things. Oh, it's a well, I <laughs> that was a fail. At least you hit something. There's a reason I don't use this one very much. Oh, this is all uh, used for reinforcing the tunnels, I guess. Check out this one back here. I'm gonna look at that tunnel real quick. We definitely have to check that one out. I'm gonna check out this creepy tunnel. There's a track in it. Yeah. Probably for moving debris out, right? Mine car. Type. And a pink pillow. You can take a nap. Shine your light up there. These are actual veins and minerals you're trying to climb up to. Yeah, this must be uh, this must be pyrite, iron pyrite, and quartz. Or it's flaking right off. That's a great tunnel to be in. The asbestos mine. I can't see how far back it goes. And it just goes and goes. Oh man. Wow. This must be where they were blasting. They probably, uh... yeah, see there's a bit of a hole there where they probably drilled mm -hmm. those burnt marks. Let's, uh, I think maybe we should go for the trestle. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a shorter pace. Time. We could come back. Very interesting. Just 
taste the dirt in the air. Wow, look at all that dust. That is crazy. We are breathing all that all the way through the tunnel. track veers to the left because this tunnel is one that caved in. Could be. I, well, I, I heard, I heard that it shifted it. during the I earthquake. It. Yeah. Like and there's an old collapsed tunnel out there. Wow. It looks like it must have been in line with that track. And this is there. very high. It makes a lot of very reassuring creaking sounds. That's how you know that it's still holding you up. Okay, Daryl, that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> that's a good I spot, really that one. Needed that. <laughs> He's great separated for your safety. Yeah. Look at the state of this beam. Maybe I'll stand on this one here. I just want to look right over the edge. I don't know if that looks high. To you guys, but trust me, that is hundreds of feet. It is high. So, I like how the, uh, the trestle is sloping out and away from us. It's built like if you're going to build a dam, it would kind of be in this shape. Well, that's the end of the Goat Canyon Trussell Bridge. 
the country's longest wooden curved trestle bridge. It's over 100 years old.